I had a question on this previously. The four main risk responses, and many of you might already be familiar with this. This is a very common model. We have avoidance. Now think, think again in your memory, what does avoiding a risk mean? Action is taken to exit the activity giving rise to the risk. So avoidance, you are completely avoiding the activity. So you are completely eliminating your risk by not doing this. You know, you're, you're, you're a large uh, luxury brand and you decide to, you know, say exit the China market. That would be avoiding all the risks from the China market by exiting it. Okay? So exiting a product line, selling a division, exiting a market would all be examples of completely avoiding a risk. Reduction. Reduction is you're taking actions, so you're putting in place controls, or you're taking different actions to reduce the risk likelihood or impact or both. And frankly, this is, uh, this, this is pretty common. There are many different examples here. But you know, diversifying product offerings, uh, relocating funds, there, there are many different types of things that you can do to reduce it, uh, to reduce the risk. And I would say most control activities in you know, most processes are used to reduce a risk rather than something else. So let's look at sharing now. Sharing is where you have an action which is taken to reduce the risk by transferring or sharing a portion of it. Now think again of some examples of this. I can think, for example, of uh, partnerships, joint ventures. Insurance is a very common example of this. So think of your own little you know, household. If your house burns down, it's a horrible thing. If your house burns down, but you're covered for 90% of it, well, then you have shared the risk through an insurance contract. And finally, acceptance. Here, we think that it is a necessary part of the business to take this risk. And there is really nothing that we can do about it, reasonable thing that we can do about it, or that is so insignificant that it is not worth devoting resources to it. Here, no action is taken to affect the likelihood or impact, and is accepting risk that conforms to you know, our risk tolerance. Let's categorize these. Categorize typical risk responses, and I'm not saying that it's an absolute answer here, but typically, if you would have, say, a low likelihood, high impact, that's uh, top left, a low likelihood, high impact event, what would typically be your response? I'll give you a second for that, but you know, let me describe a scenario. You are afraid your house might be damaged by an earthquake. It is low likelihood, it is high impact. Yes, my example gives it away, but usually it would be sharing, for example, through an insurance contract. Now think about low likelihood, low impact. So that's bottom left. What response would you have in low likelihood, low impact? Well, here we're likely to accept the risk because it would be within our risk tolerance. If we do absolutely nothing, that might just be okay. Now, we're going to look at high impact, high likelihood. And I want you to think about the two remaining responses, reduction or avoidance or reduction, what your response might be. And here I'm going to put avoidance or reduction. And I'm going to say that your reduction would only be in the case where this is vital to actually delivering your service or product. 
that this is a strategic part of your business. And often, this would be often the, the reason for your business. And then in that case, I would say it would be a reduction. In all other cases, maybe where it's a very secondary risk, you'd rather say that I'd like to avoid this. So you actually have both here, avoidance or reduction. And the last one, of course, you know, high likelihood, low impact. High likelihood, low impact, it's, uh, you know, for example, a petty theft in a company of 100,000 employees. You know, unfortunately, it's probably going to happen relatively often. Or errors in accounting in the journal entries. It's probably going to happen relatively often. And now we can color these. Red is high risk, low is in green, and medium is orange.